Okay, hello everyone. Uh, today our topic is how to make a progress S curve plan versus actual. Uh, I will just straight away go to my Excel sheet, which I am sharing now. And as you can see, this will be our end product today, but I will explain you step by step that how to make it. So the idea is this is just a format and template and the same you can use for any kind of graph or S curve. For example, you can show any material S curve. It can be concrete, reinforcement, form work, block work, plaster, paint, duct work, cable trays, any kind of material S curve. You can use the same S curve for the cost, for manpower, for progress unit. Any type of graph you want to make, you can use this S curve. So without wasting any time, I will just open a new sheet and I will rename it S curve one because already we have one S curve there. So let's assume we have a project which will extend for one year uh, as a structure scope. So there, because we are going to make a S curve for the concrete, so we'll just talk about concrete. So let's say overall duration for concrete pouring is one year. So what I will do is I will just put here a date, monthly plan, and I will put here monthly actual, no, cumulative plan. And then I will put monthly actual and cumulative actual. Okay, so this is the data which I need to fill. And because as I have just submitted my baseline and my project is starting, so at the moment these two columns are not applicable, so I will hide them and I will unhide them in the later stage. So date is like my project will start from January or the first pouring will be in Jan 26 and then next will be in Feb 26 and I will drag these two up to December. And I will try to put here a data on manually, but uh, you should get this data from P6, from the resource assignment. But uh, just to give you a concept and without wasting time, I will just make it 500, 1,500, 3,000, 6,000, 9,000, 12,000, 15,000, 11,500, 7,500, 4,800, 2,600, and let's say it's 1,000. And then I will try to make it cumulative is equal to this, and this one is equal to above. And I will again drag it down. So as you can see, we have 74,400 cubic meter of concrete. What I will do is I just want to put here a separator so that it should become easier for me to read. And I will make it control one here. And I will just put here a number. And this I will put a separator. And here we go. Here I will use my standard uh, format. And this is my S curve. This is my data for the S curve. So what I will do is I will just try to make it a table here. So my best way is I just go to line style. I check on this one and then I will click here. So as you can see now this is my table. And what I will do is I will try to uh, remove these grid lines. I will go to view and I will uncheck the grid line so that it should look clean. Now what I will do is I will try to insert a graph here based on the plan data. I have selected it all. I go to insert. I go to recommended charts and here I go to okay. I can put anything from here, but this is not what I need. So what I will go I will do is I will go to all charts. And here I will try to go to combo in the last one. So as you can see here, there is a histogram and there is a line here. But both of them are on the primary axis. So one of them I will make it on secondary axis. 
and I prefer line to be on the secondary axis. The reason is I will tell you now that you can easily read from here that where this is finishing. So this is finishing somewhere around 75,000 or 74,400. So what I will do is I will change these uh, colors to blue and I will make the line also blue. So I now know that this blue legend or blue color is for my planned values and I will come here. I will just change the chart title. I will make it concrete cubic meters. Okay, what I will do is I will just go back to home. I will change the font colors, make it black and I will make it bold. So I have this data now with me. Okay, what I will do now let's say fast forward four months have been passed and what i will do is i will unhide these columns which i put earlier i will bring it here and i will use the same formatting which i am here in these two columns also okay as we said like let's assume four or five months have been passed and in the first month there was no manpower or there was no site access so there was zero progress in the second month, progress was, let's say, 700. Then it was 1,800. Then it was 3,200. And then it was 6,600. So this was our progress for first five months. I will try to make a cumulative again, equal to this plus this. And as you can see, I am here. But we cannot see the actual values now. So what I will do is I will just drag it here. And uh, there is two lines come up here, but this is not what I need. So what I need is I will just click on the chart again. I will go to change chart type. From here, I have these um, four uh, elements, monthly plan, cumulative plan, monthly actual. So monthly actual, I need it same like monthly plan, which is clustered column. So what I will do is I will just change it and I will uncheck this one. So once I unchecked, I have this my line and also my histogram here. But I will change these colors to make it more prominent and easier to read to amber. So the fill and outline both should be amber. And I will also make my line also the amber actual line so as you can see here i have plan and i have actual and i can see that my actual is slightly behind my plan but i don't know what is cumulative actual here until and unless i see my table and i also don't know what is my monthly plan or monthly actual so what i will do is there can be few ways but i will try to tell you the best way let's go with one of the way and i will tell you why we should not use it one can be okay click here put data labels and okay we have data labels it's very easy to read and it's very good let's put it also here right because we have to also read them and once you put it here now it's not very readable as you cannot see these numbers okay what should we do Okay, we can go back to data labels and there is few options to make them center, inside end, inside base. Let's say, let's make it in center. Even when I make it in center, I cannot read them very easily. Apart from them, let's say these are readable. I have to also put the data labels for this. Again, data labels. Then I have to put data labels for this. Again, data labels. So now, as you can see here, it's not uh, readable. My, my, my stuff is not readable. And it's very confusing and my graph is not clean. So what I will do is I will delete them all. I will just select them one by one and delete them because I don't need them. So then how can I show my numbers? What I will do is I will just come here, go to chart design. I will go to quick layout and then here, as you can see, I will put my table. As soon as I may put my table, you can see that now my data is easier to read for me. That I can read in month of May, for example, my monthly actual is 6,600 and my cumulative actual is 12,300. 
against cumulative plan of 20,000, I can see I am well behind. So with this, my graph is very clean. I can easily see, okay, as, as a visual, it looks clean. And also I can read my data. But still there is something missing. Like uh, to read my stuff, I have to come to this table that what is the status in May. But how I will know that what is the variance here? So it's, it's, it's still very confusing. So what I will do is to make it more easier to read, I will put here a data date. Let's call it DD. Let's say our last month is May. I will put it here May 26, okay? Then I will put it here plan. We're talking about cumulative plan. And then I will put it here actual. And then I will put it here variance. So what I will do is, I cannot uh, fill this data manually all the time. So I will make a formula is equal to VLOOKUP, which value I have to see here. This one, comma, this is my table. So in the plan, one, two, three, because I need cumulative plan, comma, three, comma, zero. Okay. So I have done it and it's showing me 20,000. The same control one I will do here to make it number and I will use also a separator. So this my plan is 20,000 and as you can see here, this is also visible here just for easy reference. We're talking about because we're talking about this, this line, this row, sorry. And the same I can do for the actual, let's say if I drag it down, it's not giving me the values. You know why? Because I didn't fix uh, those cells. So what I have to do is I will just uh, control Z. I will go back to my plan. And here I have to put a dollar sign to fix this array. So I will just put a dollar sign here. I just make uh, F4. And now once I drag it, it will show me the same thing uh okay control z there's still some mistake because i have to put one more dollar sign on may also which is here so i have to put two dollar signs so now once i drag it down you can see that okay it's again showing me twenty thousand the same because the reference is taking from column number three this is column number three so i will make it column number five because we need the cumulative actual, the last column. I'm talking about this column. And you can see here, this number is showing now here. And here I will use the variance is equal to actual minus plan. And I have this minus 707,000, 7,700. So what I will do now, I will just select it all. I will go to here, there is a camera. I will click on it and then I will click on this graph. So what I'm doing now, I am putting this data here. Okay, so what will happen now, but still it's not good for me. Why? Because this man is 7,700. I want to show it that if I am behind, it should look like red. It give me a signal. But if I am ahead, it also give me a signal and look green. So what I will do is I will just select this cell. I will go to conditional formatting highlight cell rules if greater than zero. And I will telling him that it should show me green fill and click. And again, I will put one more that if it is less than zero, it should show me this light red and okay. So as I did it here, I will just remove this one again. And I will control, not control, but camera, and I will put it here. So now what will happen is I don't have to make it every time. Whenever I will change this data date, my numbers will change here. For example, I go to the next month, which is let's say June, and I did 9,000 cubic meter concrete. You can see this has been increased. I will drag this down. And this is showing me 21,000. But here it's still May 26. Now once I make it June 26, you see this number has been automatically changed to June 21,000 and 32,000. 
So once I will do more than as a cumulative, I will be ahead of the cumulative plan. Then it will show green. But this is what we want to show. As you can see here now, this is very clean. We can just copy and paste this uh, graph in PowerPoint, in our presentation, in dashboard, or in any other uh, in Word file or monthly report. Anywhere we can put this. The benefit of this is this is very clean, easy to read. Anybody can see that at certain point of time or at the end of uh, data date, what is our plan, what is actual, how much we are behind. So all this information we can see from this graph. And as we explained earlier, you will see that both are same. This one and this one because that's what was uh, required for us. So what we have learned in this one that the same concept or the same template or the same format we can use for any type of S curve. And uh, uh, you can use it for the cost, for the manpower, for any material. Apart from the graphs, we also see that how to change chart type, how to make it secondary or primary axis how to put this table by using a camera command and then how to what we call it how to put a vlookup formula and also we did some conditional formatting so this was our lecture today or the session today thank you so much please subscribe my channel and comment on this if you like the video thank you so much